to use the selection tools and different methods of selecting components and also taking a look at the soft select features for selecting components. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a sphere, polygon sphere in the center. I'm just going to bring this up here to the grid and I'm going to go ahead and right mouse click over here and I'm going to go to vertex. So we talked a little bit about selecting things in object mode but we haven't really gone into selecting things in component mode. Okay, so the same thing that we did uh, when we were selecting our objects will also apply to components. So I can click on each one of these and just select. I can also hold down the shift key and select multiple points here. So I'm selecting the different vertices. Okay, and I can uh, hold down shift and control and again this is adding. So if I hold down the shift key you can see that I get a, a minus sign above my cursor and it's deselecting. Okay, and then if I let go of the shift key and I hold it down again over an area that hasn't been selected yet I get a plus allowing me to add. Okay, so shift is adding and subtracting. Control shift is just adding and control is just uh, deselecting. Okay, I can also, I'm just going to click over here and deselect all of them. I can also drag marquees and grab larger areas. Okay, and depending on how I line up my image to my camera, I can come across here and select the whole top area. You can see that I miss this part of the line right here, so I'm just going to hold down the shift key and add those. Okay, and let's say I want to deselect some of these on the top here like this. And I've got that one there to get. Okay, so if I were to hit R on the keyboard and scale this out uniformly, you can see that I've changed the shape of that. Alright, so learning how to select and deselect at the component level is uh, a key feature in uh, understanding and getting uh, comfortable with modeling. Okay, so something I'm doing right here is I'm shift double clicking and that's selecting a whole ring of vertices. So I'll do that again. I'll click on one and then I'll come over to the next one and just double click. I can also just hold it down and it will do the same thing. Okay, so I can do that again here. So it's selecting the first one, going to the second one, holding the shift key down and double clicking. And that will select a row of vertices. Okay, it will also do that in different directions. Okay, and I don't have to be hovered right over top of this. I can uh, actually, as I just slide down, if I'm somewhere near that vertex, the closest one I'm at, it's going to assume that's the one I want to select, so I don't have to be exactly over top of it. Okay, and if I double click, shift, double click, you can see that it's selected from this point here to there. It's not going all the way around the entire sphere because we've got an intersection happening here and at this point Maya's uh, stopping and it's going to ask you you know which direction do you want it to go. It doesn't know that you necessarily want to continue on in that same direction. Okay. So again I can hold down I can use the marquee tool to grab things and I can also go to a different view. If I tap on my space bar and I go to my side view and I want to just select, I tapped on that again, and I just want to select half of my sphere. We've got kind of a little different shape going on here. I can do it from this view right here and then go back my perspective view 
and I can see that I have selected half of the sphere. Okay. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to object mode and delete that. And I'm going to put a polyplane down here. I'm going to scale it up quite a bit. I'm actually going to come over here in the channel box and under scale X, Y, and Z, I'm going to click and drag. This is going to allow me to highlight all of these and change them uniformly. So I'm going to put something uh, fairly large in here, like 100. Okay, and we can come out here and see how large that is. I'm also going to scroll down here and under inputs, this is the polyplane and it's got some different controls in here for subdivisions. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to click and drag over those two channel boxes and I'm going to put uh, also a large number in here, like a hundred. That gives us a really dense mesh. Okay, so this is fairly high polygon. And from here I'm going to right mouse click and go to vertex. Okay. So with this, you can see that I can grab individual vertices with my marquee and move them around. Okay, It's not giving me a really nice look. If I want to have something, I'm making a ground plane and I want to have some nice rolling hills, just undoing that. What I want to do is go into something called soft select mode. I can access that in a couple of different ways. I can double click on my tools over here and bring up the tool settings and under this area right here, this pull down, we have something called soft select. By default it's not on. So if I click on that, you can also see this changed out here. We now have soft select on. Okay, We can change the fall off radius, how wide that is by sliding this. We can also change the curve type. So we can choose a linear fall off or something more dramatic here. Uh, I'm going to stick with the default fall off. Uh, this is just telling me the fall off colors. So the way the fall off works, let's go ahead and just pull this up here. You can kind of see what that's doing. So very different effect, right? Got a nice smooth mountain here. The yellow, so all I've done is select one vertex right here in the center. The yellow is at 100%, so the, the ones that are uh, highlighted yellow, or we're seeing this yellow area here on the fall off color, this is getting the maximum fall off amount. And then you'll see it fading down into orange, and then down into sort of a reddish color and then it's kind of tapering off into this black before it comes back out to the standard color of this light blue. So we're at the maximum amount and this is sort of medium or mid-range amount and then this is almost no amount right here, so the minimum amount and then the blue has zero. Okay, so that's how the falloff works. I'm going to go ahead and close this Okay, so I'm going to move over here and we're going to just take a look at another way of controlling this fall off through some hotkeys. All right, so we had the soft selection open here. What we can do is select a vertex out here and instead of opening this tool up and selecting through here, we can hold down the B key and this will give us a marquee by just using the left mouse button and dragging and we can slide left to right and change that fall off radius. Okay. So if I drop it right here, I'm going to go ahead and close this down, back out a little bit so we can see and begin pulling that up. Okay. Again, I can hold down that B key and if I select Hold down the shift key and just select a couple more vertices out here. Pull those up.
maybe hold the B key down, make that a little wider. Okay, so you can begin to see how this can shape an area. So not just a ground plane, this is actually a, a nice tool to use when you are modeling organic objects such as characters. This works well. Okay, so that covers it for our selection tools. We went over uh, how to select our components. I'm going to just toggle that off. So the B key, if you click, if you hit the B key, that will toggle on and off the soft select. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So we talked about using the marquee. We talked about using the shift to either plus or minus those selections. So adding and subtracting. Uh, using control shift, which just adds. Using control, which just minuses or subtracts the selection. As well as going in and using our soft select tool, which is B. And holding down the B key and changing the radius of that. Okay. Alright, so we'll come back in the next lesson and we'll start using one of the more common tools in modeling called Extrude.